I'm not Vietnamese. Words pierced so deep, I swear they could have been bullet holes. But I underestimated the resilience embedded in your soul. I am now struggling to speak words that used to be so simple to me. My native tongue has become so foreign to me. Mother, you are so foreign to me. I am the product of my own bitter resentment. Because of your high expectations of me, you gave birth to the rebellious spirit that resides in me, that fights you oh so resiliently. Teenage mates had me biting my tongue out of spite. Doing what you didn't want me to do was the only way I knew how to have my revenge on you. In turn, I have only hurt myself. But with the battlefield dress as the kitchen, English was my ammunition. I'm not good to me, good to me. Those four words echoing so resiliently, like high-pitched screams, shattering shards of glass. And I wonder, Mother, did the volume of my rebellion pass the test of shattering your heart? Your eyes burned red onto my yellow flag skin, and from then on, it was like a journey from the fall. Because in that moment, you let me fall out of your arms, and I was falling fast, tumbling and journeying away from the motherland only to find myself lost and stranded in complete hopelessness, surrounded by wet, empty space, floating on an ocean of my tears, heading towards white American waves. I am not Vietnamese. As I renounced my middle name, I began feeling more empty inside. I am not Vietnamese. As I found myself speaking in foreign tongues that were not of my own, Nong Chita, Nong Tukeng Sukong Sisiya. Marono ako lang salita ng Tagalog. Opa, mohe, jin pe opa. Camouflaging myself in different ethnic groups, I blended well, easily being called Chinese, Penai, Hanguk. Like an octopus, I adapted to my surroundings. And there are still times when I need my kimchi and kakugi with my rice. I blended well. The only found myself more lost than I've ever been. I could tell you about the history of the Philippines, but I couldn't tell you what that one word means in Vietnamese. There was a time when I resented the Chinese, even though it was a part of me, because I always saw how parents who were half always taught their children Chinese over Vietnamese. And when I learned that Vietnam was under Chinese rule for thousands of years, destroying documents about our history just so we could learn of our ancestries. I took a look at myself and I realized I am a product of my people's oppression, manufactured by the resentment, marrying within the core of my being. There was a mother who only wanted me to follow traditional ways, but instead I strayed. I was ashamed because they were far different from American ways. I am not Vietnamese because receiving red envelopes on that and saying Chuk Nam is only a cover up to cover up the greed because there's more to that than receiving the greens. You are not Vietnamese because your family owns a karaoke machine and a shelf full of Asia and Paris by night DVDs. You are not Vietnamese just because you can speak and understand the language. And as much as you want to claim yourself as being Vietnamese because of how many times you like to stuff your, stuff your face with Lee sandwiches, pho, and sriracha, well then, you're as Vietnamese as I am Korean from all the Kyrie and Gaktugi that I eat. You are not Vietnamese just because of the things you do. It's also knowing why you do the things that you do. Because you could shave your head dressed like a monk, sit with your legs crossed and close your eyes, but it doesn't mean you'll attain enlightenment. Because it's all in here. Being Vietnamese is not about the material things. Because our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, and uncles, grandfathers and grandmothers, rode in boats with barely anything on their backs. The only thing they had was the resilience burning in their hearts, the mindset that carried them on the tradition that they have now passed on to us. My mother never really told me stories of where I came from. 
And so I would scream, I'm not Vietnamese. I now recite those words with shame as I see the image of my grandfather that I never knew fighting a war that should have never came. Locked behind bars and chains because he was too proud to take off his uniform. As I see fathers and brothers lying in the battlefield, mutilated and decapitated, body set up from his head, little brother telling older sister, I'm hungry. So she said, here, have my ration instead. I am not Vietnamese. The fires blazing in the village by me. He's not a dead body stacked up in the dish, machine guns and hand grenades pointed to her head. I am not Vietnamese. As they pulled him away, dragging him, he's bloody from head to toe to hang him by the post as they rip off her clothes, doing things to her that you would never want to know. City streets flooding in fear, babies all in tears, humanity lost in the eye of a war. I am not Vietnamese as I see my mother escaping from imprisoned rape, traveling over to America for her children's sake, escaping fun, bullets, and hand grenades, thousands of lives fought to save mine.